Chola the Drawer, an artist and adventurer from the UK. Let's get creative. Good morning everyone. We are off today to install the first mural of the year. We are going to be going to Bath. So we're going to be going to the Bishop Auckland Town Hall and installing a mural to the entrance of their library. So it's all book themed. Woohoo! I love books. So I was excited to design this one and I'm excited to show you the process of getting it onto the wall. So I'm here, this is the canvas for today. We're at the library. This is the canvas. Library. Some super, super old stairs. And here's all the magic. All the books. To start, I am putting a doodle grid on the wall. So, this is just a quick way with chalk doing random scribbles on the wall so then I know where my design is going to go on the big canvas. I've got previous videos on how to do the doodle grid and I'll put the links above. Now that I've sketched out the artwork, next thing is paint. Look at those colours! These are the background colours, so it's two different tones of yellow, so I'm getting that in there and you can start to see all the different shapes appear out of the wall once you've got a couple of those colours in. Let me show you where we are in the building. We're downstairs, follow the signs for the library and the murals at the entrance. Lunchtime, day one, and we got some colour. You can see the drawings. Yellow always needs two coats. So we're doing a second coat of that. But you can see it's going to the Just come out the side for a breath of fresh air. Look at that sunshine. And a banana. Um, this is where I am in the building. I'm inside. Blue skies. Going well, always to end of day one and got the two main back colours on and the whole thing drawn out. So a few more days and fabulous yellow, which means more than one coat, always. End of day one. It's looking bright and yellow and tomorrow we get to start with some of the other colours. Our books I love reading, so this one's super exciting and we have so many. Good morning! Day two of the library mural. We're going in today and we're going to get some more colours on. So far just yellow and I'll show you a bit around the bath as well, Bishop Auckland Town Hall because it's a huge building with so much inside. A theatre, the library, a gallery, a cafe, meeting rooms, a huge building that's been renovated recently and is an exciting place in Bishop Auckland to go see. So the yellow is looking good, but it still needs a third coat. So we're gonna want that for some of the other colors. Look at these colors, blues and purples next, and I go by colour when I'm painting, so it just makes it a bit easier. As you can see, everything blue is done and then I can move on to the next colour, start with a new paintbrush and you can see if there's any bits you miss by colour that way. A little bit easier. How amazing is this bench in the cafe? It's all books, real books filled in there. Wow! The inspiration behind this mural comes from the idea that inside books you can explore your passions and discover new things and 
find out about them and it's all exploding coming out of the books so each individual person's interest um, of the book they're reading end of day two good morning day three here we go let's get this going so we got some of the characters coming together now you can start to see them forming an idea of all of these things coming out of the books and my favorite scuba girl The placement of colours are really important when I design murals because I don't do an outline on any of my pieces. So I don't do an outline around someone's face compared to their clothing, which means that there really has to be a contrast in colours. So here I've got like three different shades of purple um, and a couple of yellow and a couple of the aqua colour as well. And that means that I can balance the contrast between one colour and another and so I have lighter and darker shades rather than have an outline around each piece. This is amazing, huge mural that is in the gallery. You have to go and see it. There's a huge gallery space as well. You can see it in my previous video when I was part of one of the exhibitions. I'll put the link above. Quick little tea break. That's how we're getting on. Always got all the colours on now. So few more layers of the other colours and we'll have the full picture. A tasty lunch in the cafe upstairs and there's those books again. Now on with the light blue so you can see this is almost one of the last colours left to go and everything is coming alive with all the different colours. End of day three. <laughs> Day four, here we are, last day on the mural and just the finishing touches. You can see we've got our four characters all reading, all enjoying their own passions and bright, bold entrance to the lamp. Last finishing touches before everything's finished, very important, their faces and features. And here is the final reveal, me hanging out with a book with my new friends that I've painted. Head to the library at Bishop Auckland Town Hall and check out this mural. I hope it inspires you to go read a book, explore a new passion and enjoy everything that books have to offer. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this mural. And if you do go check it out, let me know in the comments below and let me know what you think and which character is your favourite. I'd love to know. This was such a fun one. I really loved creating this for the entrance to the library. All finished in the library. What a beautiful, bright, inspiring literacy mural. I hope you like this. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you for the next creative adventure. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell.